and welcome back to the Wondershare Doctor Phone channel. This is your host, Francisco, and if you're an iPhone user, this video is going to be very informative for you. We all know that Apple is continuously working to upgrade the iOS version with new features, but sometimes these features and updates come up with some glitches which cause different problems like unresponsive touchscreens and things of the like. Therefore, in this video we will discuss the reasons and solutions that will help you deal with the unresponsive touchscreen of your iPhone. In addition, we have exciting news for you. Want to share Dr. Phone's 13.5 version is finally coming pretty soon. This means that the Wondershare Doctor Phone for Mac OS version will be fully upgraded, and an AI function area will be introduced for Mac and Windows users. With the help of this new version, you will be able to generate creative AI-based wallpapers and music for your iOS and Android phones. So to stay tuned for more updates, do make sure to stay subscribed to our channel and press the bell icon for more updates just like this. Now let's go ahead and dive right in. So why is my iPhone screen unresponsive to touch in iOS 17? Moving on to the main part of the video, the first thing that we need to understand is why the iPhone screen becomes unresponsive to touch after an iOS update. Well, technically we can say that there could be a lot of reasons for this, but to make it understandable for you, we have listed some reasons. So let's go ahead and discuss these reasons individually and understand what affects your iPhone touch screen. First is going to be bugs in software. Sometimes some bugs in different software affect the device's performance. Due to these bugs, you can face different problems, including unresponsive screen, touch, and things like that. Hardware problems. To ensure that your iPhone touch works fine, it is important to look at the hardware components. This is because if your iPhone screen is damaged, you can face difficulty in using your phone. Screen protector. If you have a bad quality or not properly aligned screen protector, then this can be a problem for you because it will prevent you from using the touch screen of your iOS device properly. Third-party applications. There are going to be a lot of third-party applications available on the internet, which can cause different problems on your iPhone. Therefore, it is going to be recommended that you always download apps from the App Store. So next up is how to fix iPhone touchscreen not working after iOS 16 slash 17 update. Now that we understand the common reasons that can affect the screen touch of your iPhone, it is now time that we look into its different solutions. Fix number one, the fastest way with no data loss. So the first solution that you can follow to fix your iOS touch problem is to use a tool like Monitor Doctor Phone. This iOS repair tool lets you quickly fix your iOS device without data loss. Moreover, it is developed to counter 150 plus iOS issues so you can fix your iPhone while sitting at home. It can also help you to deal with the software issues of iOS 17 beta. So even if you are a beginner, you can easily use this iPhone repair toolkit by following the simple steps that we're going to provide you right now. First, launch Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and click the toolbox option from its main interface. There you will find different options from which you need to click on system repair. Once you click it, a new window will appear where you need to choose iPhone as a kind of device type. Another screen will then appear with different repair methods uh, in which you need to tap on the iOS repair option. After this, select the standard repair mode and ensure that your iPhone is connected to your computer using a suitable USB cable. Then you want to put your iPhone in recovery mode so the platform can detect it and find the right firmware for the connected device. After the detection of the required firmware, click on the download option against it. Once it is downloaded successfully, the platform will confirm it, following which you can click the repair now button. This will repair your iPhone in some time. In the end, just go ahead and tap on the done option to conclude the process and then be able to use your iPhone without touchscreen issues whatsoever. Fix number two is going to be to restart the device. Sometimes restarting your device can be a good step to fix different app glitches because it can clear all kinds of bugs and caches of your iPhone. Now, this method can only work if your iPhone is missing touch, but it works most of the time. Therefore, let's see how you can restart your iPhone to ensure that it works fine. Access your iPhone settings app and then open the general settings. You can see the shutdown option by scrolling down on the screen. Now just go ahead and tap this option to see a slide option on the screen. Once the slide to power off slider appears on the screen, just slide it to the right side and it will turn off your device. Once your iPhone is off, wait a few seconds and then press the power button to restart it once more. Fix number three, force restart the device. 
There is one important thing that we need to remember. The normal restarting process of the iPhone depends on a working touchscreen. Therefore, in a scenario where the touchscreen is not really working for you, you would need to force restart your iPhone. Due to this, you need to follow these steps coming right up. Press and quickly release the volume up button, then do the same with the volume down button, and then press and hold the sleep wake button until you see the Apple logo show up on your screen. This logo will help you understand that your iPhone is now forced to restart it. Fix number four, reset all settings. In addition to this, another solution that you can use to fix your iPhone touchscreen is to reset all of the settings. Resetting the complete settings will help you bring your iPhone to a new state because it will resolve the issues caused by any app in the settings. Perform the following steps with me to reset all settings of your iPhone. To do this, open the settings app on your iPhone and then access the general settings. There, just go ahead and hit on the transfer or reset set iPhone option. This will show you two different options from which you need to tap on reset. A small menu with more options on the screen will pop up from these options and then just go ahead and tap reset all settings and confirm it to initiate resetting all iPhone settings. This will not delete your data, it will only reset the setting. Fix number five, about app issues. In some cases, the iPhone touchscreen becomes unresponsive when we are using a specific app. This can happen when the respective app is not updated for a long time or has some bugs or glitches. To resolve issues caused by such apps, you will need to uninstall them. The first thing that you need to do is just to identify the particular app causing the touchscreen issues. Following this, you need to navigate it on the home screen by swiping left and right. Once the app is located, tap and hold it until a pop-up menu appears. Then from this menu, just go ahead and select the remove app option and then tap on the delete app option. A confirmation pop-up will appear on which you need to hit the delete option. This will uninstall the respective app from your iPhone from there. Fix number six, about hardware issues. Hardware issues can be a major problem that can affect your iPhone performance. This can be understood with an example that if your iPhone screen is broken, then there is no way that you can use touch on your iPhone. Therefore, in such scenarios, you will need to approach the Apple support centers to get your iOS device fixed. And with this, today's video has come to an end. We hope that this informative video is helpful for you and that with these solutions, you have been able to resolve your iPhone issues. If there are still some issues or you have any queries, then feel free to mention them in the comment section so we can help you. In addition, do like and share this video with your friends and family members to help them use their iPhones to their fullest potential. Now with that said, until next time, have a good one.